Elaine in South Miami, Florida. Hey, Elaine, what's up? Uh, I just came into my house, and there's a recording on my machine mm-hmm. saying that a Barack Obama is a terrorist. He goes under an alias name. They give the name, and they give a phone number to call to donate $3. Really? Uh, I can play it back for you. I hope you can hear it. Sure, try it. In our government, and you have no idea how deep this goes. The traitor's name is Barry Satoro. Have you heard of him? Probably not. He also goes by the name Barack Obama. That's right. President Obama hasn't always used his current name, and we have evidence that Barack Obama is unconstitutionally serving as president. After intense investigation, we have probable cause that Obama's birth certificate is a computer-generated fraud. And furthermore, when he moved to Indonesia in 1966, he changed his name and renounced his supposed U.S. citizenship with his religion listed as Islam, meaning he could technically be an illegal alien. Obama doesn't want us to know who he is for a reason. And as the nation's most effective conservative group, we're prepared to move forward and disqualify this imposter before the election. To do this, we must have your help with a donation of even $3 for media time. So please, press 1 to donate $3 or more to expose huh? Obama. Again, press 1 now. Um, amazing, amazing. They, they give a phone number. Yeah. Well, I don't want to play the phone number on the air, Elaine. Um, but that 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 is remarkable. It, you know, the okay. fact of the matter is that when Barack Obama was a little kid, like you know, five five six years old, I think he came back when he was seven. His mother married an Indonesian man. She had uh, separated from his father, and in fact, his father was only around for for a while. You know, he he never knew his father, and she married a man from Indonesia. She moved to Indonesia, I believe it was Indonesia. It wasn't Malaysia. Yeah, it was Indonesia, and uh, his name was Sortoro. And Barack Obama see, called okay. himself Barry back then. And so when he enrolled in elementary school as a second grader in Indonesia, um, you know, that's that's what it said. Yeah, it said Barry Satoro or, or something see, like I that. I see. That's where they're getting it. Yeah. I mean, there's, it's, this is where, and, and, and it did, and, and on that registration card, and people have come up with it, and, and it does say Muslim, but that's, uh, you know, that was probably his dad's religion. I mean, or in fact, it was certainly his dad's religion. Um, I, the point I is that I don't think a seven-year-old's declaration. I don't think secular, seven-year-olds even make declarations. <laughs> you know? I see. I saw a film clip on your show uh, probably within the last week, mm-hmm. and it showed a man that lost his job because of a bane. And I think that would be the best commercial against uh, Mitt Romney. Yeah. Just, just show that commercial as, yeah. a, as, a, as a political ad. Yeah, well, that ad act- that actually is an ad, and the uh, Progressive Change Committee, I believe it is, it's one of the one of the progressive groups is out there running it. So, Elaine, thank you for calling and sharing thank that you. with us. I Great. love your show. Thank you very much. Great to hear from you. Um, uh, fascinating stuff. Fascinating stuff. <laughs>